Hi, I'm Rev. That's my Tacobra. Let's make a video. All right, today we are installing some sumo springs uh, in the rear of the truck. Uh, these are the black ones as opposed to the blue ones. The blue ones are less beefy. I think it's like 500 pounds instead of 1,000. Why did I get the black ones instead of the blue ones? They were the same price. So why not get something beefier? I, I don't even know. Uh, in the box, we have two sumo springs. Installation instructions. Uh, front and back. Uh, this warranty information. I have a lifetime limited warranty plus a 30-day money-back guarantee. And this looks like a blue Loctite, uh, from what I can tell. Okay, for this project, you're going to need a jack some jack stands, a creeper, or you could just climb on the ground like a Neanderthal, uh, a pair of uh, blocks to make it so your truck doesn't roll on top of you, a torque wrench uh, to 52 pounds, and a 19 millimeter uh, socket, deep one. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at step one here. Park vehicle on a hard level surface. Yep. Engage emergency brake. Place blocks in front and behind rear wheels to prevent rolling. Observe all safety precautions and wear safety gear. Safety gear. What are you doing, little bird? All right. All right, with the vehicle still on the ground, one set at a time, loosen axle U-bolts to allow removal of factory bump stop. Here we go. This is the old bump stuff. It is tiny. Pathetic. Why am I doing this under the car? Oh, let's see here. Yeah. So, old and busted. New and gigantic. That is uh, not an insignificant difference there. All right. Hey, there's that little bird again. What are you doing, little bird? Why are you using my truck? Bye bye bird. What is he doing? I don't know. Alright. Okay, something wasn't entirely clear to me in the instructions because they're saying, hey, install this and install that. So unscrew these because uh, I just tried to install the whole thing one at once and it was too big. So unscrew, put this thing in. Uh, we'll try doing that now. Okay, uh, that's torqued down. Um, I'm out of shape, so that was a bit of a workout. Um, let's see, a couple things I wanted to mention. So, um, What's up with that bird? It keeps hopping around. It's kind of starting to freak me out. Um, the torque wrench. So, uh, torque, important. Uh, it needs to be torqued to 52 pounds per square foot, inch? I think it's a foot. Anyway, it's 52. Um, and the other thing is interesting is that, uh, so my torque wrench is from Harbor Freight. Uh, it was actually borrowed from a friend. Um, and it, uh, in the instructions, the uh, the suggestion on what, you know, as an example of what to torque it to, is 52. So I guess that's a common torquey thing. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna jack up the car now. <sighs> truck, I could jack up the truck. Okay, as you can see, that's where our stuff goes. Let me see if it'll fit. Oh yeah, plenty of room. 
I'll put this Loctite on it. I'm sure if I can fit my head, the sumo spring, and the camera down here. I'll do my best. Uh, probably more Loctite than is entirely necessary. And then we just screw this thing on. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Just for comparison, so you can see a damn thing. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that ain't the same. All right, uh, if I lower this thing, will I squash my camera? Do I have the clearance? Let's find out. Makes sense because I got a lot of weight on it. All right, let's get this turned off. All right, let's see what we've done here. Park vehicle, yeah, we got the parking. Uh, vehicle on the ground, loosening bolts, removal of the factory stop, did that. It's all assuming spring mounting bracket. See, that was the part that I ignored. Uh, Retighten the U bolts as before, the torque factory specifications 52. Uh, important after 200 to 500 miles of driving, retorque the U bolts. I got a full tank, so I will retorque them once I. Uh, uh, when I get more gas. Uh, raise the rear vehicle, I'll actually hang freely, kind of. Support the frame using safety jack stands, kind of. Oh, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was. Yeah. Um, apply a Loctite to threads and mounting sides. Install sumo spring by tightening on the bolt. Yes, we did that. Pre surge on the other side. Um. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're gonna do the other side. I'm gonna do the whole thing in hyperlapse uh, because who wants to watch me do that in real time? Even with the uh, hyperlapse, that second one went really fast. Uh, I wouldn't say it took me more than, I don't know, eight minutes. Um, I'm trying to decide if it looks higher in the back than it did before. I can't tell. I may have to look at pictures. I took that picture earlier. We'll, we'll see. Um, it's rested on both sides, which makes sense. I've got the canopy on there, which I have no idea how much that weighs. Um, I've got the rooftop tent on there, which I know is 109 pounds. Um, so yeah, it's it's touching, um, and I guess that makes sense. That's what it's supposed to be doing. But uh, I don't know. I'll uh, I'll do some driving uh, once I finally figure out how to use DaVinci uh, uh, Resolve. Um, maybe I'll have driven it for a while, and I have some opinions to share on it. Um, anyway, uh, done. So that was easy. Uh, bye. All right. So uh, I took a shower, um, but I drove the truck first. Um, I drove it down to Connects to say needed torque stuff anyway um it's a different feel um it kind of you know you see it's one of those things where it's so subtle i can't really tell if it's actually a change or if it's just what i am imagining I'm imagining um but uh i noticed a lot less body roll when i was going around corners there was no body roll at all which i was noticing before because i got the tent up top so it was kind of all over the place and uh let's see um Okay, so this is one of those things where I, I don't know if I actually felt this or it was my imagination, but I felt like I was kilted forward a little bit um, in, the, in my seat. Uh, I did, I, I wanted to say I felt like I could feel the squishiness of it in the back. Um, I don't know if that's real or that's just my, my if it's psychosomatic. Uh, but the, the turning, for sure, 
Um, and the thing is, I went down the hill and came back up, and I didn't put a trailer on or anything like that. So, uh, going camping this weekend, that should be the, and I'm going to load that son of a bitch up. So, that'll be the, uh, the real uh, determining factor. Um, so, we'll find out then. But so far, I'm really happy with them. Um, they're, they, uh, yes. Hello, friends. It's time to go back under the truck. Yeesh! Oh, I did not have the clearance I thought I had there. And uh, you're looking right at what I was. So, oh, Jesus. Right, um, uh, hmm, I'm going to have to switch this around. Stop. Oh, but now my hand's on the cover. Okay, so last time we were underneath here, this is uh, installing the Seamless Springs. Very happy with them. You can see there, up there, right there under compression because it's so much crap in the back um the uh, they've been very good in, in uh, helping with stability um i've done a lot of driving around with them since the last time i was uh fiddling around down here um lots did quite a bit of uh gravel and offish roading uh, as long as a couple long trips and uh, they've been making things uh much more stable and it's not just me saying it my wife was driving the truck and she's like yeah that that's a lot better um, she couldn't notice unless she was driving it. But anyway, uh, I think I said in the last t video that I needed to tighten these down and torque them down again after one gas tank. Uh, it's been like three, so that's the same thing. So, uh, yeah, but you don't need to watch me torque things. So I'm just going to tack this on the, end, on the end of the other video. But I'm really happy how they, uh, they worked out. And you can see them right there. Uh, ha very happy with the purchase. Let's actually, I can't actually see that from there. I'm holding it. I can barely see the camera. Now you can see what I, uh, what they look like. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, whatever.